Hello, and welcome to the online open event for Harris Westminster Sixth Form 2020. My name is Miss Strickland, and I'm Head of Biology at Harris Westminster Sixth Form, and I'd like to share with you a few details on what it's like to study as an A-level biology student at our school. Our students follow the linear AQA A-level biology course, meaning that all exams are sat at the end of year 13. The curriculum we study is extremely diverse, ranging from the interactions between individual molecules that make up the basic unit of life, the cell, all the way to a systems-wide approach where we look at how organisms interact with each other and their external environment. Our students really enjoy the increased level of challenge that comes with studying A-level biology. You'll be able to explain processes introduced at GCSE in much greater levels of detail as well as explore new and exciting areas of biology that are exclusive to the A-level syllabus. The teaching of biology is generally split between two teachers per class. In Year 12, you'll have 13 lessons per fortnight, whereas in Year 13, we ramp this up to 15 lessons per fortnight, making sure you have ample time to prepare for your final summer examinations. The final A-level biology assessment consists of three papers and the overall grade that you will be awarded is based on the total number of marks that are achieved. Paper 1 assesses your knowledge of the content from Year 12 topics and predominantly assesses your ability to demonstrate knowledge and understanding of scientific ideas, processes, techniques and procedures. Paper 2 assesses your knowledge of Year 13 topics but focuses more on the application of this knowledge in a theoretical or practical context and has a much bigger focus on the handling of qualitative and quantitative data. The final paper is synoptic in nature and can assess your knowledge of content from across the A-level syllabus. Unique to the AQA A-level biology syllabus, this paper includes a 25 mark synoptic essay. For this essay, students are required to write between two to four pages on average on a theme in biology. This, for example, could be on the importance of movement within and between cells. To succeed in this element of the paper, students are required to demonstrate their understanding of this theme in multiple different contexts that have been covered throughout the A-level biology syllabus. The examiners are specifically looking for the level of detail and accuracy that would be expected following two years of study. The other important element of the A-level biology syllabus is the practical endorsement. This consists of 12 required practicals that must be completed throughout your time studying A-level biology. This element of the course is teacher assessed using evidence of practical skills that you have physically demonstrated during the completion of each experiment or using evidence from the relevant written work that you produce for each practical. Now that you know a little more about the written and practical element of the course, listen to what our students have to say about their experience studying A-level biology. Being a biology student at this school has provided me with more benefits than I could ever mention. The teachers here have a wealth of knowledge and experience which is constantly demonstrated through their passion and ability to contextualise our learning to the higher biological world. They inform us of the interestingly niche facts that not every A-level student would know and this information is useful at the end of the year, at the end of the course, when we write the paper 3 essay. Being in an environment such as this has allowed me to develop my research skills in regards to understanding and processing information. The biology course here is broad and we have the opportunity to explore so many metabolic processes and how they link to the wider world that naturally you go out onto the internet and want to find out more about the other ones that you're not learning at school. Learning beyond the specification is strongly encouraged here and has led to me researching about how mutations interact with the environment, the effects of exercise on physiological function, the evolution of the human birth canal, migration and many other more topics. Behind me is just a snippet of the information that I have learnt this year and how myself consolidates and retain information. Personally, when it comes to biology, I love to make posters that just help me to that help summarise all the processes that we learn. And when you come here next year, you will also learn that diagrams are imperative to biology. Can't we see?
Hi everyone, my name's Maya and I'm here to talk a little bit about the supercurricular and extracurricular opportunities we get in the biology department here at Harris Westminster. So one thing you should know about these opportunities is that a lot of them are linked to Westminster School. An example of this is Biology Enrichment Day where um, Westminster invites all Year 12 biologists to come and listen to the talk that they put on by an external speaker and a Harris Westminster student and Westminster School student are able to give a presentation about something within biology that they find really interesting. Uh, when I attended, the speaker was a professor from UCL who spoke about synthetic biotechnology and I was lucky enough to give a presentation about HeLa cells to all my peers and the teachers that were there, which was pretty unique. And throughout the year, Westminster School invites uh, our biology students to talks that they put on with external speakers who basically just talk about their area of expertise within biology, which is a really great opportunity. Um, just within Harris Westminster though, we have biology prep classes for people uh, aiming to apply to a biology related degree towards the end of year 12 and into year 13, um, which are a really great chance to learn about things beyond our specification. Um, we hear our very capable teachers who talk about uh, something that they have knowledge in that's outside of our um, curriculum and um, whether that might be a like a, the PhD project that they did or a specialism that they chose while they were at university from modules that they found interesting. Um, we can hear about a range of things. I think last year I listened to talks about eusocial insects and uh, vitamin C within the body. So there's a really great range for anything you're interested in within biology. Another example of this is biology society. So the academic societies that every student attends are really great in biology. Uh, we have the opportunity for every student to give a presentation about something they're interested in within biology to their peers. Uh, we can we have the opportunity to get external speakers in and even to go on trips. So last year I went to Body Worlds in Piccadilly with Biology Society and they are completely student run. So you also have the opportunity to step forward and do that yourself. Uh, I myself am the president of one of the Year 13 Biology Societies. Um, the overall aim of the opportunities that we're given is to make us like great biologists really and to go beyond the um, exam spe specification which I think is pretty unique to Harris Westminster and um, is a reason why we get so many great opportunities. Hi there, my name is Luca and I've been studying biology as an A-level at Harris Westminster. Biology has always been a subject that I've enjoyed, learning how life works. And my favourite aspects of the A-level specifically is the level of depth it ventures into compared to GCSEs. Now, instead of hearing, you don't need to know that, the answer is always, this is exactly why this happens and here's how you can find out more. Personally, I intend on taking biology as a degree because I think it's such a beautiful subject and an extraordinary way into understanding how our world works. Biology can lead you down many avenues such as medicine or a career in researching infectious diseases. For me personally, I love researching about oncology as it's a morbidly interesting facet of biology and relates so many ways to the AQA syllabus that we study, from the deactivation of the P53 tumour suppressant genes, which function by regulating the cell cycle, as we learn without it can be disastrous not for our bodies to cope with. Some of the recent graduates of Paris Westminster Sixth Form have now moved on to world-renowned universities such as Imperial College, King's College or Durham Universities, as well as 15 Ox Oxbridge applicants in the last two years alone all studying incredible degrees such as medicine, biological sciences and natural sciences and many more.